So today I, I will focus on this morning about God's agenda when I was praying and meditating. I said, God, I want to be about your agenda. What is your list to do? Because I got my list to do, but I need to scratch that phone. What is your list to do? Even with me going to work and, and, and helping to meet needs of other people, um, naturally, I still want to be about his business. I want to be about his business. I want my life to be lined up with his will. You can still get your life back. Get your life back. It's real. Get your life back. Get your life back. What's up, people? What's up, people? Thanks for joining in. I forget to turn off my notifications. Good after It's almost afternoon, but good morning, everybody. Just wanted to give a quick word of inspiration and just really praying that you have a prosperous and blessed day. Thanks for joining in, that you have a prosperous and blessed day. I speak life. I speak peace. I speak the joy of the Lord and that we we come to a place today we please God in all that we do basically and he gets all the glory and all the praise and I pray the mind of Christ over our mind things that are bothering us things that are troubling us I pray that God's mind will permeate and migrate to our mind so that his will can be done and then I pray today that we allow ourselves to be used by him to look for opportunities to be a blessing as I always say to mind God's business and not so caught up in our business. You understand what I'm saying? And just just doing things in a whole new way. And I just pray for newness. I pray for refreshing. I pray for restoration. For those of you who need restoration. For those of you who need newness. I pray that God give you answers. Tell me who God the creator is without blocking. I'm not going to block you for that. God the creator. Some call him Jehovah. Um, some call him, there's so many names, Elohim. He is the God of the universe. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the one who created the heavens and the earth. And he is the same God who made Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and sent his only begotten son here to give us redemption and reconcile us back to him. God the creator is God. He is Jehovah. God is not his name, but God is who he is. I would admonish that you will get a Bible if you if you don't have one and read from the Genesis to Revelations to find out who God is. And you'll also know about the plan of God in the Old Testament, the, the purpose and the plan of God. And then you will see the the um, his plan of salvation in his word. And then you see how Jesus comes and he fulfills God's law and God's purpose. And then in Christ, we are reconciled back to the Father. We have relationship with the Creator. So there's so much for that to answer that question. But I pray that you seek God. I pray that you get to know him. I pray for a supernatural encounter with God that you know him for yourself. That you know him for yourself. Where God came from, I can't answer where God came from because God is just omnipotent and omniscient. He's all-knowing. He's ever-present. He's all-powerful. So I cannot answer. I just know one thing. The word says that when God couldn't swear by nobody else because there's no one greater, he had to swear by himself. So that's just how all-powerful, all-knowing that God is. So we don't have all the answers, nor do I seek to know all the answers. I just believe he is who he is. Amen. And and when you have the relationship with God, like I said, you know God, then you know who he is because you have a relationship with him and you get to know him. And even though you can't explain all things about him, you know who he is. You know his, you get to know the mind of, not the whole mind, but you get to know things that are on God's mind and his plan and his purpose and his will and his love and his grace and his mercy. And you can just see how he so loved the world and how he gave his son and how merciful and gracious he is. And so even when you can't explain, you just know him. You know his, the personality and character of God. And that's your evidence right there. Just that you know him. That you could be, do you think that could be your own? No, I know it's not my own mind. Especially for me personally, because God revealed himself to me at such a young age. When I didn't even know his word. And one of the words that he would give me was for me not to be afraid. Because I battled with some things as a child. I used to go through battles with the enemy. Trying to come after my life and trying to take my mind. And I remember God revealing himself to me, the Lord, his son. And in my room, I remember my room lighting up. And I remember Jesus saying that he will be with me to the ends of this age. 
you know, and, and all of, I didn't even know that was in his word. I said, my God. So he revealed himself to me. That's how I know who he is. That's why you have to read your word. You will understand. You have to go way back to the fall. You have to go back to when God created the heavens and earth. And you have to go back to the fall of man and, and read about Adam and Eve. Yes. So, and I know sometimes we forget when we go through trials and tribulations, we forget because of course you go through this grief and why God and how could you let this happen? But when we get back to our mind and we come out of that, we do understand and remember that it's the fall of man. This was not God's will for none of us to perish. He want all of us to have eternal life. Even from the beginning, we were meant to live forever. That is the plan of God. But in his grace, he sent his son to redeem us. That's why I mentioned being reconciled back to the father. But um, so you asked a lot of theological, biblical questions. Now we can go through that next time. If you want to email me at get your life back, get your life back number seven at gmail.com. And we can talk more about that. And we have Bible studies sometime. I have Bible study with my apostles sometimes on Wednesday nights on Block Talk Radio. God bless you. You have a great day. God bless you. And I pray that just God just, just continue to, I pray that God minister to you and give you a word and reveal himself to you in such a mighty, mighty way and use you for his glory because he sure will do that. Thanks for joining in. But so I wanted to just pray that everybody just have a really great day in God and, and, and just continue to stand firm in him and seek him and all that you, all that you do to seek him and above all things that you seek to please him and bring God pleasure and then when you do that you get the joy of the Lord amen that becomes your strength that becomes your power to keep on moving keep on going forward I got to pull off praise the Lord yes that can be it can be challenging <laughs> it sure can but you know and and it's so funny because i just said when i came on let's let's open up ourselves to be to let god use us to be a blessing to others to minister to others to give a word of encouragement and empowerment and right then and there it came a test <laughs> so i think i thank god for that i thank god that his will is, is done and it just shuts our plan down so today I, I will focus on this morning about god's agenda when i was praying and meditating i said god i want to be about your agenda what is your list to do because i got my list to do but i eh, need to scratch that phone what is your list to do even with me going to work and and, and helping to meet needs of other people um, naturally, I still want to be about his business. I want to be about his business. I want my life to be lined up with his will, you know, so and, and because a lot of times we get deterred and we get off the path and things ain't working out. Something ain't feeling right. It's because we kind of went to the left a little bit. And, you know, God is so awesome. He'll just nudge and pull you right back in. He's just good like that. He's gentle. God is not a bully. The father's not a bully. He, you know, he just he's he's gentle with us now. He He's also a man of war. He, he's a God of war <laughs> when it's time for that. But he's gentle. So, but anyway, thanks for joining in. Hope you have a good day. I got to get out of here because I'm running late. But thanks for joining in. Talk to you again. Blessings.